Today we're going to look at connecting to the built-in web server of IND360. This is where most of the configuration and setup of the device is done. Uh, so let's take a look at my computer very quickly here. We can see I'm in Microsoft Edge. Uh, you can of course do this in uh, another web browser such as Google Chrome. I just happen to be in Edge at the moment and I need to type in the service IP address of the IND360 in the address bar. So if I do that here, uh, we will see it's not able to reach that page. Uh, that's because I have not properly set up the IP address of my computer. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that here briefly. Uh, before we do that, we do need to make sure we have one physical connection correct on the IND360. So let's take a look at the unit. So we've got an IND360 panel mount here on the table. And you see we've got an Ethernet cable going into the service port. Uh, so this service port sits by itself on the top of that IND360 DIN mounted unit, uh, right by the display port. And that is not to be confused with the industrial Ethernet ports that are potentially on the units. If you connect to these two ports, you will never be able to connect to the web server of IND360. It must be in this port here. Uh, so let's take a look back at my computer then. So now that we're in the computer, uh, this may vary from computer to computer. I'm just showing what is on my computer, which is running Windows 10. Uh, so I'm going to go to the Start menu and then Settings. And then I will go to Network and Internet. Now once I'm here, I'm going to go to Ethernet and I'm going to change the adapter options. So this should then bring up all of the different adapters you have uh, for your Ethernet connections. Uh, you may have several. Uh, I happen to know that the one for my physical Ethernet port on the side of my computer is this one. So I'm going to right click. Uh, it's important to know you may need uh, admin rights to your computer to do some of these things. Uh, so once I get to this menu, I'm just going to double click on Internet Protocol version 4. And for most people, their IP address of their computer is obtained automatically here. We don't want that. We want to set what's called a static IP address. So we're going to be more specific here. So our IP address, the first three numbers need to match the service IP address of IND360 exactly. And so by default, that is 192.168.000. And then the last number needs to be different. So by default, the IND360 service port ends in 8. Those industrial Ethernet ports that I talked about earlier that we don't want to plug into, those end in 2. So we want to avoid using the number 8 and the number 2. Uh, we want to be something unique on the network. It needs to be between 0 and 255. Uh, so I'm going to pick something randomly uh, that is, uh, let's say, 125. So then I click out of that. And you see the subnet fills in automatically. We like this 255, 255, 255, 0. That's OK. And then we want to make sure we hit OK. We don't want to just close out so that these uh, settings actually take effect in the device. So I'm going to close out of that. And I'm going to go back into Microsoft Edge. And now let's see if we have any additional luck connecting to that web server. So you can see just like that, we confirmed. Our uh, Ethernet cable was plugged into the correct port. Uh, we confirmed that we were using the IP address uh, on our computer to be on the same network as IND360. Uh, and you can see we're talking to the unit that's using the default IP address. If it uses something other than that default, uh, we just need to follow those same steps and maybe change our computer's IP address to have uh, those different three numbers so that they still match what the IND360 is using. The other thing I wanted to bring up is that uh, this is for sort of a point-to-point -point example. My computer is plugged directly into the IND360. Uh, in some cases, you might be on a large corporate network uh, that may have more requirements uh, for you to be able to connect. Uh, so always, uh, if, you, if this video does not help you, uh, feel free to reach out to the local IT team uh, to see if any additional steps need to be taken uh, to get you connected. Uh, but until next time, uh, thank you for watching.